Hi, my name is Kelly. Welcome back to See Where the Baby Design. On my channel, I do Dollar Tree DIYs, Dollar Tree hauls, Cricut DIYs, and much more. Today's DIY, I will be making personal wine glass for Christmas as a gift. I will take you step by step on how I created my personal wine glass for Ladies Night 2019. My cousin came up with the idea of making personal wine glass for her friends for Lady Night 2019 this past Saturday. So what I did was go on to my Cricut Design Space and created the slips as well as the lettering on the wine glass. If you want to see much more on how I made the design on Cricut Design Space, stick around. Part 2 of the video will be uploaded tomorrow. What you need to do this project, you will need a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Explorer 2, Cricut Vinyl. What type of vinyl I use, I use the Permanent Frost Gray as well as the Red um, Permanent Vinyl. You will need a rotary cutter as well as a ruler to cut the vinyl on the mat. I like to roll the vinyl onto the mat and cut the vinyl onto the mat there's different ways that people do but i prefer to do this way so what i do is roll the vinyl onto the strong grip mat and cut the height and the width so the height and the width is like four by four so what i would do is use the ruler as a guide and use the rotary tool and cut the square four by four also a quick tip Instead of using a second mat, what I tend to do when it's not a big project, I put the next color right next to the first color. So the first color is gray and the second color is red. But I give it like a inch gap so I can make sure that it doesn't cut onto the gray as well as it doesn't cut the design doesn't cut on to the red that's a tip that i learned from a youtuber can't think of her name so that's a easy way as well and you will save so much vinyl doing it that way i love my exacto knife what i'm doing is cutting each word from the vinyl it's much easier when you do it this way instead of pulling up a sheet of vinyl because when you cut it in threes it's much easier to pull it but you got to make sure you pull slow because if you pull too fast some of the vinyl some of the letters will come off the piece of paper and you do not want that next i am weeding the vinyl from the paper so what be left is the letters on the paper itself. I can't think of the name of the tools, but I'm going to call the first tool I'm using is a hook. And the second one is like a pick. So I use the pick to get like the vinyl in the O's and the little, you know, you see it when I'm talking about. I'm using contact paper. I have so much contact paper, it's not even funny. So Cricut has their own brand of contact paper. I prefer to use this type of contact paper. So what I do is I use my pen to make a mark where I need to cut with some scissors. And I usually cut the exact size of the letters and transfer the letters onto the contact paper. After transferring the letters onto the contact paper, 
I make sure that the letters stick onto the contact paper. What I use is the Cricut scraper. I scrape the front and then I flip it over and scrape the back. So when you see I pull up, it's much easier to get off the transfer tape. How to remove the lips from the transfer tape. I use the wing tool and get between the contact paper and the transfer tape. I purchased the rubbing alcohol from Dollar Tree as well as the spray bottle. When you spray it on the glass, what you do is you get a paper towel and or newspaper to wipe the alcohol off the glass. You gotta make sure that the glass is dry before you put the permanent frost tape onto the glass. I didn't have anything nearby, so I used the alcohol in my phone, which is not a good idea, but it worked, to hold the glass in place. So I am laying the Camilla onto the glass. Camilla is my sister, by the way. So I'm laying Camilla name onto the glass, and I'm gonna use my fingernails to get the air bubbles out the letter. Next, what I'm doing is measuring from the top to the bottom. The glass is like five by five. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use the measuring tape and measure from the top to two inches and use the black marker to mark off the spot. The M is like the middle of the word. So I'm gonna use the M as a guide to lay the name across the glass. Once I laid the name across the glass, I did like two and a half inches away from the name and put a new mark onto the glass. And then I measured down from two inches and put a custom sailor. My sister, she is a custom sailor. That's her nickname. I spray the glass for one last time to remove the markers on the glass. It's not permanent on the glass because when you spray the alcohol, the solution get the permanent marker off. Finally, I'm using the Dollar Tree Holiday Ribbon and Tile Bow. I can't tie a bow. If somebody tell me today you can win a million dollars if you tie a bow, I would not be a millionaire. Here how the rest of the wine glass turned out that I did for my cousin for her ladies night 2019 ugly sweater party that was this Saturday. Mm -hmm.